Hey guys, so welcome back. Today I have yet again another stack of thrifted books to share with you guys. All of these books that I'm sharing with you today are from thrift books and I've collected them over the past several months here and there. Um, and now I have this big stack to share with you. But before I share with you uh, the books that I have to share with you, if you are new here, I just wanna welcome you. My name is Sarah. I'm a homeschooling mom to five kids, ages 12, six, five, no, ages 12, eight, six, five, and three, missed one. Uh, and on my channel, I love to share content on homeschooling and motherhood and my faith in Christ. So if you guys like content like that, make sure that you're subscribed and don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Let's get into this. I do have one in this bag that I got today. Um, some of them I'm not sharing with you because that will probably be another one. Um, I think I have one, uh, one book in here that is a children's book so all of these are like curriculum uh i do have i'm pretty sure three books in this bag but like i said i'm not going to share them all with you because i'll do another haul mommy haul um okay so the book that was in that bag is this one called coral reefs and i actually be I actually heard about this from Rachel over at Seven and All. She did a thrift uh, book haul a, a little while back, and I watched it, and she shared this, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that is so beautiful. I have to have that book. You guys, I really am drawn to picture books. If they have beautiful illustrations, I'm pretty much probably going to buy it because I love pictures, and my kids love artwork, and they love pictures. So they will probably look at this book 5,000 times, and it will get – good use out of it because they absolutely love picture books so much. So also another thing that I learned from Rachel, she shared that thrift books, which I didn't even know this, you know how many books I have purchased from thrift book and I cannot believe I didn't know this. They have a thing for homeschoolers that you can sign up for the teacher rewards and it is every four books you get a free book so if you purchase if you are purchasing four books or more you better pick up if you're purchasing four books in one shot you better pick up another one because you will get it for free um so that is fun i did the okay when i went to sign up it didn't verify right away so i did reach out to them and email them and then they were like okay we'll just put you in manually um because i am under an umbrella covering so that is what i showed was my thing from my umbrella covering and for some reason when i tried to do it through the website it wouldn't work but when i reached out to them they took it and now i get the teacher reward so you guys I'm like man I could have gotten so many free books I am bummed but it's okay we will I will be getting free books from now on so you guys you know my book problem I need to have some more bookshelves in my house because my bookshelves are running out of space okay anyway this is the book that I got is coral reef reefs and you guys I was drawn by by these pictures okay just look so beautiful obviously about the coral reef so i'm excited and we are going to be um i told you that we didn't get through our torchlight curriculum so there is a book like i'm gonna try to still get through it somehow and there is a section talking about coral reefs so this is another reason i kind of got that book because i knew that would go good when we get to that um, so there's that book. Um, another book that I got is Alice in Bible Land. I have a whole stack of these books. I actually had these books when I was a little girl and I loved them so much. My mom had the whole collection and then we didn't have them anymore. So I'm so sad. Um, so I don't have my collection, which would have been lovely. Um, but I ended up ordering, I think last year, them on eBay and I had found like one or two at a thrift store um, and then I ordered a whole bunch of them on eBay but this was one of the ones that did not come in the in that set that I ordered so and I just remember loving this one 
the story of baby Jesus. Um, so I saw it on thrift book and, and I got it. So, and I love these books. If you have never read these books, it's so cute. It's pretty much about this little girl and she jumps into the Bible and she learns a story and it is rhyming. So the whole book rhymes. It is beautiful. I used to pretend I was this little girl because I had blonde hair like this when I was little and I love this book. So there's that one. Okay, the next books that I got are actually in the same series and it is Money Matters for Teens and Money Matters for Kids. So I want to teach like about money this year, obviously. Uh, so I got both of these. I'll probably maybe put this in our morning basket. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I got this and then I would like to read this one one-on-one -on -one with Nathan, my oldest. Um, that would just be like a nice book to go through this year. Also, to go along with the money theme, I forgot about these as I was looking through. I also got All About Money. So this is more of a picture book, which I really like that. And I got the Everything Kids Money Book. And this is kind of what this one looks like. Um, so yeah, pretty sure I did. I got this as a free book after getting all my points. I don't know, but anyway, those are all my money books. Now the next stack of books, which is a pretty bag. Um, this all of this is gonna go around like the human body pretty much because we are doing we are going to be learning about the human body this year and um i do have a curriculum that i'm going to be sharing with you guys um that goes along with all these books and that's how i found out about a lot of these books was from that curriculum so i do have it's going to be coming out i haven't filmed it yet i want to be able to film have it be really good and informative before i sit down and film it um but anyway i'm so excited so all of these books i got from that curriculum um they're suggested books in that curriculum and there's many more that i did not purchase that were in there too so it, uh, there's a lot so the first one is blood and guts <laughs> And this is a working guide to your own insides. Um, this one I thought was going to look a little bit different, but that's okay. Lots of information. I think this is geared towards um, like third graders and up. Um, that's what the curriculum suggests is third graders and up. I'm pretty sure for that one. The next one is some secrets should never be kept. And this one says, Sir Alfred has a terrible secret, a secret that should never be kept. But who will poor little Sir Alfred tell? Who can he trust? Remember, some secrets should never be kept. This book was written to, uh, to provide children with essential skills in self-protection and to encourage them to always speak up. We recommend that children be read this story by a parent or caregiver. So I think this is kind of like, you know, protecting your bodies type of things. Like, um, obviously, I don't think it's talking like directly about that, that I know of. Um, but it was recommended in there. But I think it's, yeah, just so that you, your kids are not keeping secrets from you. Um, because we all know that keeping secrets can be not good sometimes. Okay, so the next one, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, so the next book that I got is this one, How to Be a Genius, Your Brain and How to Train It. Ooh, and this is what the inside of this looks like. This is a DK book, so obviously it's going to have gorgeous pictures and lots of great information. Um, let's see, I also got this one. This one is food and nutrition for every kid. I actually didn't realize that it was gonna be like a chapter book um, or else maybe I might not have gotten it because I already feel like we already have to read a lot of books this year. So I don't know if we're gonna get through this, but who knows, maybe we will, um, but that's okay. This one, is called No Dragons for Tea. 
and this is fire safety for kids and dragons. So this is just a cute picture book, obviously talking about fire safety. So I thought that was cute. And that was also recommended in that. I'm pretty sure that was recommended in that. That's how I found it out. Another one is Make Way for Tooth Decay. Um, so this is obviously a picture book. It is a Scholastic Reader Level 3. So this will be perfect for my littler kids. They will sit and listen to this and love it. This one, I thought this was going to be a picture book. Um, I mean, it kind of is, but it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> so, but it's, it's funny. My kids will probably like this just because of what it's called. <laughs> Poop happens. <laughs> it says, get down and dirty with history. So a history, what does it say? Okay. A history of the world from the bottom up. Um, so yeah, this was recommended. Like I said, all of these were recommended in that. So I mean, yeah, there's that one. Okay, the next one is this one called Feelings. And I always think, uh, yeah, I'm glad we're going to be doing this because we need to talk about feelings. So this obviously talks about feelings. The next book is this one. I actually thought this was a different kind of book. I didn't think it was going to be like this, but I kind of like it. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet because I have five kids um, and four of them will probably want to do this. Uh, so I might have to copy pages and let them do it like that. I'm not sure yet, but this one is called the work of your hands, fingerprints, God, and you. Um, this one actually was not recommended in this curriculum. I don't think I'm pretty sure I saw this in a video, um, because I'm doing God's design for life. I'm going to try if I can remember to leak her video that she did on it. Um, God's design for life. Um, where she taught, she said that she was adding this on as like a read aloud to read when they do the human body. So, um, this is what it looks like. So it is kind of like an activity book, I guess, which I didn't realize. I think you do like activities with your fingers. So it is a storybook, right? But then I'm pretty sure, um, there was activities in the back that you do with your finger. For instance, here's this picture right here. Um, this is like in the back of the book. I think all of these, yeah, this is when it starts to get like that in the back of the book. So for instance, there's this and they would take their uh, fingers and they would make their own. So I'll probably like copy this and then have them do that each, let them do it. Um, but yeah, and then there's a scripture verse at the bottom. So I don't know if this is a cute book. So the next book that I got is the DK First Human Body Encyclopedia. You guys, I have so many human body encyclopedias. <laughs> That's okay because Isaac is obsessed with the human body. So, and I feel like you could probably get different information from each one. You know, this is a first, so it's going to be on lower level. And whereas the other ones I have are on higher levels. Um, so there's this one, DK, always great books. Um, and then, and I know they do make a newer edition and I actually forgot that I purchased this on Thriftbook and I had also purchased it on, I think I got this for like $4 on Thriftbook and then I got it for 10 bucks on Amazon. I ended up returning the Amazon one, um, because I was like, oh yeah, I found it on Thriftbook. Um, this one is the older version, but I looked in the back and I can't remember what else was in the other one. It was only a couple things, but most of the pages were the same. So I returned the one from Amazon so I could save money because I'm all about that. Um, okay. The next one, these are, this is in a series and I also want to get the other books in this series. Um, I was thinking maybe they would show it, but they're not, but they are, I think, I don't know if the, uh, all of them are recommended in this curriculum, but, um, they just weren't on thrift book yet. So I don't know if I'm going to get them, um, new from Amazon or whatever, but I will figure that out when the time comes, um, because we're not doing the human body until like the second half of the year. So I still have time. Anyway, we have um, this. So this is a, a series and this is called Gene Machine. 
And then I also have this one, Have a Nice DNA. And then there's one on germs and there's also another one. Oh, here it says, other books in the series, Enjoy Your Cells, that's the other one, and Germ Zappers. So those are the other books that are in the series that I wanna get. And I also have some more that are in a series and it is, the first one is this one, it's called The Skeleton Inside of You. Isaac is gonna love this because he loves all things about bones. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna love this so much. Like, yes, he wants to be a bone doctor, he told me. Uh, and another one in this series is Germs Make Me Sick. So this one's all about germs. I did just share a book outlet haul um, where I got a ton of these books. I really love this series. What are they called? They're called like, um, oh, Blast Off Science. Let's read and find out. Read and find out science. So you guys, these are really good books. I love picture books that are like this, obviously. And then the last one in that series is I'm Growing. So obviously this one's just talking about, you know, growing. It's kind of a look inside. And then the last book, which I am super excited about, and I actually got the boy version of this. Um, Actually, I don't know what that one, I don't know if it was a boy version or, I don't know. There's another one in this series that I have as well. Um, and I shared it in an Amazon haul that I will link for you guys in case you want to see that. But this one is called The Princess and the Kiss. Um, and this one is the story of, uh, and this one says, a story of God's gift of purity. So staying pure. Um, so I am excited about this book here. This is beautifully illustrated book that talks about good things, right? So yeah, I heard about this also from that curriculum. And those are all the books that I have today to share from Thrift, Thrift Books. If you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, have a blessed day.